Is this giving you like flash memories of your graduation? <laughs> <laughs> channel I'm Steven and I am Jess and I'm guessing you clicked this video because you're currently studying and want to travel and we're here to tell you it can be done yes. we did it and you can too and also <laughs> congratulations on continuing your study we realized everyone went back to school this week oh Best yes of luck <laughs> so I ended up studying at university for six years and I made my mind up and did it for five years yes and during that time we ended up going on eight trips four domestic trips four international trips and we paid for that all ourselves yes. no one helped us our parents didn't help us we didn't have a tree that grew money we did it all ourselves while traveling and you can do it too so we want to give you some tips because some of the best trips we ever had was when we were at university together we had like first international trip together first yes. trip together so many firsts and we learned so much so good and that's where we fell in love with travel so yeah you say something else then oh and that's when we fell in love as well <laughs> Alright, are you guys ready for some really embarrassing photos of us? Our first trip was our first year of uni and we went to Queensland. We haven't showed anyone these. So <laughs> cheesy, we decided to go to Movie World. Oh my goodness, Jess, what, are you, what is that know. do? You're rocking. <laughs> I know. Our oh. second trip was international. We went to Bali with the family. And there's super awesome dad, mom and Cleo and everyone. So cute. So much fun. We decided to go on our first winter holiday. This was now getting into our second year of uni yes and we went to New Zealand and that one was so much fun in our third year we completely splurged and went on a five-week holiday to the Caribbean and the USA it was so hard to save for this one but it was so worth it I think we paused travel for like a year, a year to, do this to save up for we this needed to. but it was so worth it there is us at St. Martin <laughs> very cute and then us in matching I love New York tops in the front of the Statue of Liberty. Oh my goodness, so yes. embarrassing, so <laughs> touristy, but it was so worth it. It was like our very first travel memories and we just wanted to do all that stuff. Yeah, and yeah. I'm so glad we did it. So then that means in our fourth year, we decided to go domestic and try and make it cheaper. So that's us in Melbourne. Uh, that's, that's me and Cleo. Sister. Yeah, that's me that's and Cleo <laughs> together in Melbourne, throwing up the leaves. <gasps> And and I then, really don't want to show this one. This one is embarrassing. We went to Sydney and we climbed the Harbour Bridge and look at Stephen's look like hair. Sideshow. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, and then we went with my parents to Cairns. And this was the first time we ever went scuba diving and completely fell in love with that. And then our last trip before we graduated, we went to Thailand with the family. And, and that a one little, was, a look at us shot. sipping coconut and Jess. <laughs> Damn, I think that's the only bikini photo we have of you online <laughs> anywhere. And then once we graduated as well, okay, put those away now. <laughs> and then once we graduated, we saved up money and went on like a little graduation trip where we went to Singapore, the Maldives where he proposed and we went to Dubai. That so, was a yeah. really awesome trip. So we went to a ton of places in those six years and we studied full time. So I'll tell you guys how we did it. Alrighty, so first tip, well, we're not gonna count it as a tip, but you're gonna have to get a job. Yes. I'm sorry, there's no like get quick rich scheme. You're gonna have to work, unless daddy's rich, you're mm. gonna have to work and pay for your own <laughs> holidays. So when we were studying, what we did was we worked Saturday and Sundays, and then we worked late night, which is Thursday night here in Australia, and then one extra day that fit around our timetable. This thing is so oh, annoying. Boy. If any of you wore this when you were graduating, we feel your pain. Oh, I got my full Harry Potter robe. Yeah. Anyway, back to the tip. So with the actual savings bit, what we did was the $50 rule, and we pretty much still use that rule since university. Yeah. When you're saving, you still need to spend. Like, yeah. we've saved so much money, and if we aren't, like, buying little things, like if I wanted to go to the movies, or if you wanted to get a top, if you can't do those things, it really works on that whole, if you starve yourself, you're just going to binge. Exactly. So you starve yourself from spending. Yeah. Then you just splurge. So what we did is, yeah, we gave ourselves $50 of pocket money a week, and then the rest went into either bills or our little savings account that we had and then all that savings ended up going into our travel. Now if that feels like it's too hard for you, another quick savings tip is to do the dollar a week rule. Now you put a dollar away in your first week, two dollars in second, three dollars in third week, right up to 52 weeks, so a full year, and at the end you will have 
I worked it out. You would get $1,378 after the 52 weeks, would which you could go on an epic holiday with. Yes, you Having can. Having over a thousand bucks. That you would could be go, awesome. You could go on a really good holiday with that. So, so save in your idea. first year, travel in your second year, you can do it. Yeah, so they're probably our two advice for saving money. Now, after going on so many trips, we've also worked out ways that you can save when like booking your travels. And the first one is using a Skyscanner. Now, when we were studying, we didn't really care where we went as long as we went somewhere. So what we would use is on skyscanner.com, they have this function where it's an everywhere. So you can say that I live in Australia, Perth, and I want to go everywhere. And it'll tell you the cheapest place you could go to. So that might be for us, it's probably Bali, could be the cheapest place. You could get like a special maybe for $100. Cheaper than traveling internally in Australia. It's crazy. <laughs> it is cheaper for us to go to Bali than it is for Sydney. So that's why Bali was our first international trip, even before Sydney. Yes, yeah, so they might tell you a deal. So number one might be Bali for $100. Then it might be saying you could go to Singapore for $150 or you could go to London for $500. Like if there was a really good deal, sometimes that happens. So it's a really good idea if you don't care where you're going, but you want a good deal with your flights. So, now you've got your flight sorted, you need to go into your accommodation. We highly recommend Airbnb. We like used it pretty much most of our time while we we're traveling abroad. Uh, we pretty much stayed in Canada for three months on Airbnb. We paid something like awesome. $45. Now if you look at that. $45 a day. $45 a day. That was like our bed, electricity, internet. like. Everything we needed. It is awesome. And you also get to live like a local because you're pretty much in the suburbs. So on top of saving money, you get to really see what it's like to live with the locals in another country. And a lot of the times you also get a kitchen, which is awesome because you can save money on food. You can go and buy your own groceries, cook it yourself, which is another way to save money when you travel. So definitely check out Airbnb. We also have an Airbnb code if you want some money off, which we'll put in the description link below for you guys. Also, if you really want to brave it up, we suggest you check out couch surfing. Which is free. You get free. free accommodation. You literally just stay with someone. Someone's couch. Yeah. It's we've really never personally way. tried it out, but we've spoken to a lot of travelers who have done it. So if you really want to save, check out couch surfing. Now, another tip while you're studying at university is to go on a study tour. I did one in my last year and loved it. First thing is it counts to one of your units. I literally went to Singapore for a week. That was my entire class for the whole like semester. That is so awesome. Get to travel and it counts towards your degree. Number two is a lot of the costs get to be covered under your university. Now this is specific for Australia, I'm not too sure about other countries, but pretty much most of the cost for the trip which is put onto my hex and my uni bill, which yeah. I get to pay back later. So that it was so almost awesome. like free travel that we get to deal with when I'm a bit older and more responsible. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still paying off now. I'm still yes. paying off now, yeah. <laughs> so he got to go to Singapore for a week and it would counter to his grades. That is awesome. I didn't do one, but I, I wish I, I did. I prefer doing that than course being work, in of course. Lecture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so that is all our advice that we can give you now. If you have any other questions, pop them in the comments below and we will answer all of them for you. If you have any questions about you know, saving money, how to get some good travel deals and stuff while you're studying. And also we really hope that this has made you want to go on travel even when you're studying. You can do it you can balance study and work and you can balance study with travel so go out there travel and we still got our degrees even though we traveled i think it's my turn to have oh my gosh have hair. Ah! <laughs> if you'd like any more travel advice from us we are happy to do more of these videos for you guys just tell us what you want in the comment section below and if you're new around here hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up all right thanks for watching bye, bye. happy travels and studies bye.